Howdy folks. In this video I'm going to do a, a bit of a, a flight comparison between the uh, Hobby King Cloud Surfer 2 meter and the Volantex Raptor V2. They're both 2 meter wingspans. Uh, the Cloud Surfer used to have a T-tail but I changed that to a conventional cross tail because uh, I didn't like the, the T-tail very much. It was a bit too um, prone to damage and delicate I guess. Uh, they're about the same length, although the Cloud Surfer has a, a longer uh, snout and a bit more space for batteries. Uh, the Volantex Raptor has a PVC plastic fuselage, which is very tough, which I quite like. The Cloud Surfer has a lot more wing area. The Raptor has the same wing as the Phoenix 2000. This is our wonderful big uh, flying area behind us. It's a whole lot of um, football cricket ovals, but uh, it's very underused because the drainage is terrible. And you can see down here, we've had a lot of rain, but all that mud is going to stay there for ages. And probably 70% of this area out here is bog. Uh, and you can see I'm wearing gum boots. Uh, good reason for it. So I'm going to start with the uh, Volantex Raptor. Uh, as a plastic canopy. Then it has this foam uh, FPV camera mount, I think, something like that, which I don't really like. I'm going to change that eventually. Using a 3000 3S battery. And this is the pain having to put this back on every time. Alright, here's the CG, that looks about right. The Raptor has a folding propeller, which is nice, and a PVC plastic fuselage. Oh, what's the mud? Which is also nice. Alright, here we go. So it takes off okay. Bit nose heavy maybe, I'll trim it up a bit. Back off the throttle. Absolutely perfect day today, so great day for a test. But it's flying quite nicely. Nice and smooth. It's all grey, which I really don't like. There's no point having all grey. I'd rather it all white so I can add my own colour. So manufacturers, if you're listening, get rid of the grey. That's cruising quite nicely. It can tip stall if you go too slow. Bit of a tip stall there, I think. Nothing major. In this calm weather I'm flying just almost hands off. It's just cruising around by itself. Occasional corrections, there's a tiny bit of wind around. Occasionally climbing when there's a little bit of thermal lift, I think. Still on about half throttle. So it's going to be about 14 minutes for a thousand milliamps. So that's a thousand milliamp hours now and it's about 13 and a half minutes. I'll try a bit of gliding. I'll go up a bit higher and see what we can get out of the air. <coughs> okay, throttle off. Gliding now. Bit of thermal lift there. Alright, I'll bring it in. Light it in, flaps down. So that was very pleasant. It glided around beautifully. Cruised around on the four, about four amps or half throttle. 
now it's the cloud surfer's turn and the hatch is a lot easier to get into and a lot bigger I need more weight to get the CG right on this plane so I've got this uh, extra wad of uh, about six big washers that go in the nose and the battery goes in this is another 3000 milliamp hour battery Now on the Cloud Surfer I have a, a BL6G autopilot and return to home system so I have to wait until the satellites initialise before I get control of it. I need to initialise the return to home otherwise it will return to a different home. Hold down the set button until the flashing stops. There we go. Ready to roll. Check the CG, that is about right. Check the camera's working. Yes, that's working. Give it a launch. Okay, there we go. I like the new painted tail, that stands out really nicely. Now straight away this feels slower and more docile and more stable too. I haven't got the stabiliser set. So this one's cruising around at about 3 amps so it's actually a more efficient setup maybe, more glidey. It is more docile and using less uh, aileron and elevator input to fly it. Drop the throttle even more. I'm climbing all the time now, so <laughs> either I'm in lift or I need to adjust the elevator. Yeah, so this is definitely easier to fly, less inputs, smoother, more glidey. I prefer the Cloud Surfer wing. It's very dependable, very glidey heaps of uh, weight carrying ability and if the cloud surfer had a PVC plastic fuselage like the Raptor it would be the perfect plane I think <clears throat> just missed the mud the problem with the cloud surfer is that it's reasonably poor quality foam and you can see all the dings and um, creases that I've got and the wing has become quite loose in the fuselage so I may need to do a rubber tie down um, posts in there. It's probably from my rough handling and, and attempts at slope soaring um, but that wouldn't happen with the uh, Raptor fuselage. Well they're both good. The Raptor is sportier, faster, um, but you do have to keep flying it. The Cloud Surfer is uh, more docile, more glidey, very relaxing to fly and very stable. The Raptor is probably tougher, I think. Might be better for slope soaring, um, but of the two I prefer the Cloud Surfer. <laughs>